So interesting little nugget from today's media session with John Lynch. He said he and Kyle had to go to Jed York and ask pretty please, can we sign Javon Hargrave? It's going to be expensive. And Jed said, yeah, I want the best, which is always nice, especially in a market where the Oakland A's exist. So God love you, Jed York, for, you know, I mean, ever since he messed it up royally with Harbaugh and then Tom Sula and Chip Kelly, he has at least let John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan do whatever the hell they want. So I'll give him, I'll give him that. Well, I mean, okay. Everybody, you know, the fans for the most part always are pro Kyle. Um, Lynch, they're very pro Lynch. It's always easy to rip the son of a, you know, of a billionaire. Um, and so Jed's always been an easy target. Yeah, look so, at me. I'm an easy target, too. I'm a son of a billionaire. <laughs> there you go. Um, and, you know, but you're trying to make it so your son is the son of a billionaire. Exactly, exactly. Uh, no, but, I mean, the, the Jed thing is, let's be honest about this. You can say that he made the right, the wrong move on Harbaugh. Harbaugh was 44, 19, and 1, and yeah. Jed and Harbaugh couldn't coexist, and they had to part ways. Okay. But since that point, yeah. He bought out Tom Sula's coaching staff. He bought out Chip Kelly's coaching staff. He went to Kyle. He's now gone. Every time they've asked for money for football reasons, he is there to, to write the check. I think Jed gets a bad rap. I think Jed has done. Jed has listened to his football people. And that's really all you can do. I mean, Eddie, you know, Eddie got Walsh, but Eddie hired Joe Thomas. Eddie traded five draft picks for O.J. Simpson, who was done at the time. Mm -hmm. One of those picks became Joe Cribs. Eddie didn't know all. Eddie had to learn on the job. Jed had to learn on the job. But Jed's, Jed at least is putting – he's listening to his football people. He's got a structure, management structure, where – these guys are not trying to survive one another. Lynch and Shanahan are legitimately working together, unlike Balky and and Harbaugh. So I think Joe, there's real growth there. And Jed, now granted, it's not pulling it out of his last penny. He's not pulling it out of his savings account. The NFL produces huge cash revenue, and that's where this money's coming from. But he's still willing to spend the cash when he's being told by his football people that they need the cash, and I respect them for that. Really well, what's did. funny, though, is he was willing to spend, or his parents were, when Harbaugh was here. I mean, that that coaching staff was very expensive, those position coaches. So this is they've always been willing to spend on football. What's interesting, and he, he may have been right to fire Harbaugh. Like, the whole idea was, it's, it's what I argue now with Kyle. Like, yeah, you're a good coach, and you've built this team, but are you going to win a championship? And Jed looked at, at Harbaugh and said, no, this guy's not going to be a champion. And he might have been right. I mean, he's not like he's winning a champion, any championships over at Michigan. So if the if the analysis was correct, the problem was how he replaced him. Jim Tom Sula. It was a joke. A yeah. defensive line coach. So what's interesting is he's fixed all that and he's back in everyone's good graces. But he's in the same position he was in 10 years ago. Really good team. NFC championships right on the cusp. Haven't gotten over the hump. What are you going to do about it, Jed? And so like you could argue that he's grown, but you could also argue that he's back where he started and it's like okay well, what's your next move how you get how are you gonna he talks about the quest for six he is on a quest for one how are you gonna get one jed because you've been on this quest for like 20 years well i the one thing i think links jed and kyle and and, and lynch is they're all gonna be made men with dr john and denise if they win yeah this, you know, John's going to be truly independent to do what he wants. Kyle's yeah. going to be truly independent and he won't be questioned. Jed himself will probably gain true independence from Dr. John and Denise if they climb this mountain and get this six ring. So it's they're true. all tied to the same kind of we, thing. We don't really know who hired Kyle. It might have been Jed. It might have been the parents. It might have been a whole family search. I, I, I don't know. I, have, I don't know. But after what Jed did with Tom Sula and Chip Kelly – I would imagine the parents would step in and be like, you know what? This is a family project now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, he had to learn on the job. But but in fairness, Eddie D did too. And everybody mm -hmm. loves Eddie D. Why do they love Eddie D? Because his bottom line was their bottom line. He won titles and he spent frivolously and, you know, all kinds of gifts and generosity. Took took care of his players. But what I love about Eddie 
He is the impetus behind that Golden Heart Fund. Jed and this current group has pushed that forward. That's 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 a groundbreaking, let's take care of our own kind of a program that I think you should be proud of. And there's a few yeah. other teams around the NFL that have copied it. I'm just saying, it's easy to rip Jed. Lots of people do. The reality is Jed's about winning. And he hasn't done it yet. Right. They've been a consistent winner. They haven't won at all. But I think that if they if he can climb this mountaintop, I think he'll probably have greater control over the franchise, and so will Lynch, and so will Kyle. I, it's tough to be the second generation owner, uh, especially when your uncle was like. How many owners have five rings in American sports? Not that many. So Eddie's a freaking. I mean, he's like Kobe Bryant. Yeah, you know? I mean. How many athletes have five rings? I, we even see Clay, Clay's ultimate put down of a player. You, when someone's talking trash, all of a sudden he just goes, "Right, that's it. That's all he has to say." I mean, that's that was the Niners. Five rings. Five. That's it. Five rings. And Jed can't add to that. And it's like there's no shame in that. A lot of organizations don't win Super Bowl. They haven't won Super Bowls, but he's close. He's so close, and he has people like you and me offering him great suggestions. It's no excuse. <laughs> No excuse well, I mean, think point. about it too. He's a boy. He's born into a family where he's had, you know, uh, wealth beyond his with beyond his dreams his entire yeah. life. So yeah. get when you have that kind of money and your future is so financially set, you're all about the ring because the <laughs> ring will validate him more than any dollar amount. So he's all about that ring. He's passionate to get it. And to me, in some ways, Jed not getting it has given him what Eddie had that he didn't have, which was this unbelievable passion. And and now he's starting to develop it because out of necessity, because he he knows this is the this is the his holy grail. If he climbs this hill, he'll be viewed as successful. And I to his credit, he believes that getting Javon, Javon Hargrave gives the Niners the defensive line they need to win the Super Bowl. I would just and this is neither here nor there. I would just say, at what point is Jed York and this organization going to realize, I mean, how many years do they have to have the number one defense in the league and not win the Super Bowl before they realize that, like, you're not going to win the Super Bowl that way? You have to have a great offense, not a great defense. But I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a – maybe the pendulum will swing back to defense. I think rules would have to change for that to happen, though. I mean, all I'll say is after watching Mahomes is that the only thing that it's convinced me is that there is no shortcut. And if you're going to beat Mahomes, you better be able to score 30 points a game and you yeah. better have impact players on all three levels of your defense. And I would endorse the move to pick up Hargrave because when I watched Kinlaw get bounced around, I said, you know what? Bad. That is the number one need of the 49ers, a dominating two-way, you know, run player, pass player, defensive tackle who dominates. They didn't have it, and they're, it's hard to find in the draft. So and what's I, crazy I, is even if you have an offense that can score 30-plus points and you have playmakers at all three levels of your defense, you're still not going to beat Kansas City. <laughs> Although they lost some guys this offseason. I mean, they're, they're really depending on some young wide receivers next season. We'll see what happens.